Today on Running to Him. If bearing one another's burdens is not work, nothing is. Today's reading is Galatians chapter 6, verses 1 through 7, and we will be concentrating on verses 1 through 2. Galatians 6, 1 through 2 says, Brethren, even if anyone is caught in any trespass, you who are spiritual, restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness, each looking to yourself, so that you too will not be tempted. Bear one another's burdens, and therefore fulfill the law of Christ. Now up to this point in Galatians, we've noticed Paul distinguished a difference between work and works of the law. Working through the law brings death, but working in love brings life. Today's reading drives that point home. Through the centuries, the church practiced a type of confession which allows believers to address their failings in a manner that helped them grow in Christ. Unfortunately, this confession of sins morphed into the middle-aged Catholic idea of confession to a priest for the absolution of those sins. Today, many Catholic priests view confession as an act of cleansing tied to an act of contrition. They might say something like, show that you are repentful by performing a certain act. But that is not what Paul is addressing here. Paul is stating that we as believers are to watch out for other believers and bear their burdens. If anyone believes that truly praying for someone is not carrying the other person's burdens, they are sadly mistaken. We should feel grief when another's believer is struggling with something. They have the same spirit as we, and are therefore connected to us. How do we bear one another's burdens? That act requires a changing of our minds. We tend to think more highly of ourselves and less highly of others. This thinking is reflected in how we react to a brother or sister who sins with great judgment. We might say something like, I thought they were better than that. Please notice that along with this condemnation, we are also saying, I know I am better than that. We need to change our minds as it relates to sin. Now please excuse this illustration if I offend you. When our children were growing up and just beginning the process of potty training, we found a book entitled Everybody Poops. The book is designed to take the mystery out of a normal bodily function and place it in a world where the child feels comfortable recognizing that what was happening was normal and there was a way to deal with it rather than soiling him or herself. Everybody sins. Do we believe that statement or is it a Sunday school answer? If we are functioning as believers, we need to recognize that because everybody sins, we should feel free to tell a trusted person of our failings and ask them to come alongside us to carry that burden with us. And there's another area where we can carry one another's burdens. We carry each other's burdens by becoming involved in their lives. Now, each weekday morning, a former missionary and I call each other using FaceTime, and we talk about how our lives went the previous day. We've done this for more than 20 years. We have at times missed speaking because of travel or illness, but after a day or so, we get back together. We are not discussing our sin. We are talking about our lives. If a sinful action comes up, then we'll pray about it. But the purpose of the call is to bear each other's burdens. Each of us as believers needs to have a friend or friends in whom we have the confidence to be able to just be ourselves. That person need not know everything about our lives. But as we share with one another, our burdens appear. And we will be able to walk alongside that person as we minister to each other. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.